ATMR Mobile Tech Channel, Fast and Loose, and I got a quick video for you today. We're going to use a T-pin, and we're going to back probe an electrical 12-volt connector that goes to the EVAP canister purge valve on this 2005 Chevy Tahoe 4.8 liter. And this test should be the same on pretty much most any vehicle out there, unless the wiring changes but it just has a simple positive and negative that go back to the PCM and that controls the duty cycle of the purge valve when it is necessary. So using my digital multimeter here and you'll need a little jumper wire to make the test easy. It's not it's not a hundred percent necessary but this will make it easier when you do this test and if you've ever wondered how to know if you're, first of all, you're going to back probe. So if you've never heard of this before, a back probe means that you're going to insert a pin and this pin's already installed, but you'll, you'll insert it right alongside of either one of the wires that you're testing until you feel it stop. And in this case, this pin is probably pushed in about 10 to 12 millimeters. And we're going to just check one wire at a time. And so with the digital multimeter, set to continuity there, see where it's on continuity. We want to make sure that we test our test equipment. And that sounds kind of weird, but, but these could come out loose and then you won't get good readings. So you just touch them together and then make sure you hear an audible sound or three zeros. So that's how you know that your connection is good. And then I'll connect the jumper wire. And if you don't know if this jumper wire is good or not, here's how you can check it. So when you just get it on one of the ends and touch it here. So then you'll know you got a good connection. So this is a good wire because sometimes these cheap jumper wires, they'll, uh, they'll break apart, uh, at one end or the other or somewhere in the wire. So we'll get and put our jumper wire on one end and then we put the alligator end onto the, uh, the, the top part of the T-pin, which is the T part, and then you'll take the other end and you're only going to be checking this green wire. So if you just do this, you just kind of draw an imaginary line and touch it. Okay, now touch it very gently because you don't want to bend this pin and ruin it and then it will cause a connection problem and then that could also cause another problem and then you're going to be scratching your head after you put in a new part if that's what you're doing. So we're we're learning how to back probe and we're learning how to test your test equipment and we're learning how to check the jumper wire and then we're going to use the digital multimeter and continuity to check and make sure that we have continuity from here all the way to here so that when you back probe and you're checking for powers and grounds you'll know for sure that you have a good connection from here all the way to here. And that's it for the video. You did a good job. Subscribe, like, and share. Watch some of my other videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.